Welcome back to Legit Street Cars. Today I have Jason from Chicago Auto Pros in my garage to wash a car, except we're gonna be washing this car without a hose and without a drain. Yep. And it's the middle of winter time in Chicago. It's like zero degrees out, so we can't go outside. So we kind of got to work with what we have in here. I think we're gonna be able to make this CL65 sparkle again, because right now, I mean, to say it's disgusting is an understatement. It is nasty. The salt is like munching away at the car as we speak. So anyway, without further ado, Jason's gonna show us all of his weapons of choice over here on my table, and we're gonna get right to work. All right, if you don't have access to a hand wash or uh, you don't have water or you don't have a hose or a pressure washer, this is a great way to wash your car in your garage if your car doesn't work very well. Uh, we're gonna do a rinseless wash. So what we have here is we have two five gallon buckets and we have about three gallons of water in each. We're actually gonna mix in Optimum No Rinse. This is the rinseless wash method that we're gonna use. This is a very high lubricity type of product. It's an encapsulate all the dirt and the salt and everything that you have on your car and we can safely remove that without adding scratches or sore marks. Mixing this product, you don't need a lot for this. A lot, a little goes a long way. We're gonna add one ounce to two gallons of water. So we have about three gallons here. So we're actually gonna add just, this uh, capful is about an ounce. We're gonna add one and a half capfuls. That's all you need. We have also mixed in some solution into our pump sprayers. Uh, now I'm gonna show you the process of actually getting this done. And we actually have a secret weapon coming that I wanna show you too, so stick around. All right, this is a pretty simple process once you have it down. The first step of the process is we're gonna be using these pump sprayers here. Now this is an O&R dilution that I've already made up. And we're gonna simply pre-rinse the car. So we're gonna spray this on the car and this is gonna soak in and it's gonna help encapsulate all the, the salt and the dust and the sand and everything that you got on the car. Um, most of this car here on the top is pretty clean, respectively to the bottom, yeah. where it's just caked up. So what we can do is actually, on these spots up here, we can just do a simple, nice little mist. Okay. But when you get down to here, we can actually spray it just a little more just to loosen up all that salt. You see how that is just almost dissolving away. Oh yeah. So that doesn't get caught up in our towels and we don't grind that into the paint. So normally we would wash the wheels and the tires first, but this type of wash, we're actually gonna be washing the body first and then we'll wash the wheels last. And I say these little pump sprayers work really well. Look at the pressure you get out of that. Just blast the salt right off. All right, so now we're actually gonna get into the process, the washing process. You have a couple different sponges that you can use. This is the big red sponge from Optimum. You can see it has all these little slits in it. And then this is a, a different sponge, same, similar style, just a different uh, size and shape there. You can also use just a regular mitt if you wanted to do it this way, um, or several different towels, depending on how dirty the car is, will kind of depend on, depend on what sponge you use. But for the top here, let's show you how to use these sponges. It's pretty simple. We're gonna dump it into our, our wash bucket with our solution. We're gonna rinse this a little bit. We don't want it super dripping wet, but we still wanna be able to have some water that's on there. And then you would come to your hood here, and just like normal. Uh, is that even sudding up or anything? Nope, no suds, no nothing. It's... Wow. And that area is clean right there. We'll rinse it in our rinse bucket, and then we'll grab one of our drying towels, a couple different styles here, and... You can really just do this one section at a time. Just dry the car. And that part of the car there is clean. We've got a secret weapon for areas like this that are down below or like the back area where it's really, really dirty. Let me show you this here. So this is a inexpensive steamer. It's a couple hundred dollars. Um, and then you can fill this with water and you can actually steam the car and stuff that is stuck into these cracks and crevices, you can actually just steam them away. So once you have a lot of that built up salt, you can go back to your, your O&R, start at the top and work your way down to the bottom. If you get to a really heavy section, just flip it. Finish that out. Back to your drying towel. Dry the 
car. Now, another method too, um, we have lots of towels that you see here. If you wanted to use a lot of towels, let them soak in there. And you have eight different sides of this towel. So use your towel there. You can actually use this to wash. So if I wanted to come up here, I'd do a small section on the glass. I can flip this towel to a new section. And again, depending on how dirty your car is, you can just keep on flipping it. If you wanted to do one pass in each one, flip it. We're just doing everything we can to prevent any of the salt or dirt or anything built up into the rag doesn't get dragged back across the paint. So that's why you can use, if you had 15 or 20 towels, you can do this method like that too. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. All right, so Jason and I just finished washing the entire CL65. Can't believe how nice this is looking. And with very, very minimal water. I mean, most of it is still in the bucket. And uh, this is definitely something you guys can do in your garage and not make a gigantic mess. If anything, this actually gives me an opportunity to kind of mop up and clean up the floor a little bit, but just look at this car. It took us about 20 minutes to get to this point. It's dry, it's clean. We did the tailpipes. Uh, we've done everything except the wheels. All right, onto the wheels. For obvious reasons, we do these last because they're the, are the, the most dirty part of the car. So we've taken out our media that we've used on the body. We don't want to mix that into the, our wheels now. And we have all-purpose towels in here. These are just cheap all-purpose towels. And then we have our two wheel brushes that we're gonna be using on the wheel. And then I just have, just, this is just a mild all-purpose cleaner. We're gonna spray this directly onto the wheel in the tire. A little bit into the wheel wells too. We're not gonna actually clean the wheel wells because that's where most of the dirt is caked up. And then we can, in our solution, can use this here. Go ahead and just wash it. Rinse it in your rinse bucket. Back into the wash bucket. And then we just take one of our towels here, give it a nice little ring, and then we can wipe this all down. And then I'll just clean a little bit of this wheel well here. So I'll be either throwing this towel away or just throwing it right into the wash. This won't go on anything else. Take another one here and I'll really wring it out. Like that. And I'll use that just to basically dry everything. And clean up your floor a little bit. <laughs> All right, one last step. We're almost done. So you may have some streaks, you may have some spots that you may have missed and to get them, we're gonna use a quick detailer here. This is just a basic quick detailer and this is a very plush microfiber towel. Feel it. Oh, it's, nice. it's very plush. <laughs> so what you can do, you know, like some of the spots here up on the uh, windshield and the wipers here that we maybe missed a little bit, you can just mist them there. Kind of wipe the whole car, flip it around. This will add a very light layer of protection and make it smooth and just clean up any smudges or any leftover dripping water. Wow, these really are very plush. You weren't kidding. Oh man, oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, that is nice. Yes, CL, the calm before the storm here. Soon you will be in thousands of little pieces. But if it never runs again, at least it'll look pretty. <laughs> Stuff smells really good. I gotta say, I, I really like the process. Obviously it'd be better if I was outside with a hose, but if it wasn't caked up with salt in the wheel wells, I'd say it wouldn't be that much better. Like it worked really well. The car looks perfect. These things are awesome. So like even if you don't have the steamer, you could pretty much blast yep. a lot of the stuff off with this. Yep. So um, where can I get a kit? 
Jason, because I'm going to need, you saw my, you saw my <laughs> cabinet. It's brutal. I have like the most embarrassing little detail cabinet ever, but yeah. um, you guys sell a, a complete kit basically. We for sell this. all this on our website, carsuppliesweharehouse.com, and we actually have a kit together that you can buy with everything that we just used here. Links down below, guys. Uh, definitely check out Chicago Auto Pros here on YouTube as well. They have a ton of phenomenal videos, really, really good tutorials, basically Anything you could imagine that has to do with cleaning your car is on that channel. So check it out. Links down below. Uh, I'll throw a coupon code in there as well if you guys need anything. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Kind of an impromptu little, yeah. you know, add-on video for the week, but something we definitely needed to do because I'm going to have this V12 engine in about 5,000 pieces starting tomorrow. And I just it's like mental clutter seeing this dirty salted car and it's not good if you have an engine ripped apart to have all these particles in the air so you know for me i've cleaned the garage everything's looking better than it was before and i just this was the final step so thank you very much jason Absolutely. appreciate it and uh stay tuned guys for the big v12 engine removal and disassembly coming to a city near you in the next few days does that smell good too this stuff is phenomenal oh hang on a second Oh, that's even better. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't drink, but you can smell. This is seriously good. I mean, it's worth it just for that.